My name is Jason Chu. I'm a rapper, poet, and Christian. This is five conversations between me and my friends, between artists, between believers, between Asian Americans. It's about what we make, where we come from, and how we live. This is Beyond Belief. Here we are, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Dude, freaking good to be here. My pleasure, man. Cool. All right, my name is Raginder. Mm -hmm. I am a Sikh American uh, music producer and a violinist. And uh, I specialize in Indian classical music as well as hip hop production. So it's a pretty wide uh, spectrum of music. <laughs> word, word. You know, like in the world, there's a lot of Sikhs. Mm -hmm. um, and then even in America, you know, there's communities. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't necessarily know what it is to be a Sikh. So could you explain, man, what, what, is, what is Sikhism? You know, when people see a Sikh, the first thing they'll notice is the turban and the beard. But our teachings are very similar to just being a good person. You know, one of those religions that you don't, you don't look at the what you can't do. You look at the what the possibilities are. So before you go in here, Word. you're gonna have to wear this. Okay. It's like a bandana. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Word. We see your hair to be uh -huh. sacred, so cool. you know we believe to like cover our heads. But we believe everyone just sits cross-legged on the ground. Mm. And when you come in this you're, a building, you're equal to everyone. So everyone sits on the ground. So welcome to the Gurdwara. Wow. The Gurdwara is the translation of Sikh temple in Punjabi. Okay. So this is beautiful, man. Yeah. You know, I've of course I've heard the word guru before. Yeah. Right. What does it mean? What does that word mean to so, you? So guru, guru is someone that brings you from darkness to light. Gotcha. So like a guru isn't necessarily like an old dude with a beard who's wise. Yeah, so, it's like anything that brings you. So yeah. We believe the Guru Granth Sahib to be our guru, and we follow basically the words of. Uh, God that our prophets wrote in the Guru Granth Sahib. That's, that's yeah. pretty cool. Man. And everything in the Guru Granth Sahib uh, is also musically related because everything that's written in there, mm. one thing is al almost everything in there rhymes and mm. all the scriptures are written in a musical structure called rags and Indian oh, okay. classical music. The reason why I'm very close to Sikhism is because of the musical aspect of Sikhism. You know, all the scriptures were written in um, in musical rags in yeah. the structure in the, in the classical structure, and me learning that music while I was growing up, it made me connect with the religion way more. It made me understand uh, the emotion of the scriptures and what the you know gurus were trying to convey to these uh, whatever what they were writing, and it's easier to understand things when it's uh, portrayed through music. Yeah. And so I think yeah. that's why I connected through it, and that's how, that's how I connected to it. I think there's this lie that all that matters is the content mm -hmm. or the song, which is total BS, right? Mm -hmm. Because I could write the exact same song as like Eminem, mm -hmm. but the fact that it's coming from a short Chinese dude mm -hmm. changes. Yeah. And, and I don't think that's a bad thing, yeah. right? I think a lot of us buy into this false meritocracy idea of like, oh, the best song wins. But like, no, I think the best stories mm -hmm. are what people are looking for, and that includes how we look and who we are. Yeah. What are the messages that you hope people take away from your music? Music can be interpreted in any way. I try to make universe, uh, music that's universal to every aspect. So I'll try to throw a little bit of Indian classical in there. I'll try to throw a little bit of pop, a mm. little bit of uh, you know African rhythms. So I try to throw a little bit of everything. The one obvious message is my identity. I want my identity to be known. At, with my music. This turban and beard, I feel like, is a big part of why I am where I am today. So even though, you know, I do like a hotline link cover, yeah. um, the fact that, you know, there's aspects of the music that are foreign, and even the aspects of me, the way I look, I think that makes a difference because 
It's something people haven't seen and something that people need to see. Six, uh, we're known for giving. And um, the biggest aspect of our giving is called the Lunger. Uh, Lunger translates to free uh, kitchen, free kitchen. And uh, basically in the Lunger, we believe that when you step foot in the Lunger, everyone sits down on the ground, everyone eats next to each other. And it doesn't matter where you're from, you all eat the same meal that is given to you for free. Hey NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.